So we've been promised wall-to-wall -wall sunshine today and it's sunny, it's a bit hazy but I've set up my uh, solar panel system here, it's a 20 watt panel I've got the uh, solar DMM there and also the LAM, the large array of miniature bulbs and on the display of the uh, DMM we've got about 13 watts and at the bottom there is the watts bar graph hovering about and that's because on the LAM I've switched on um, enough bulbs to try and max out the power so I'll just turn on a few more rows yeah actually I've managed to increase it a bit 14 and now it starts dropping back and I'm just turning on and off rows of bulbs like this so that's about the maximum power I'm going to get at the moment it's it's not midday yet um, so we're not going to get the full 20 watts from the 20 watt panel but what I've done is I've built another mode into this display and uh, I'll switch that on now now I've got no um, buttons on this unit so I can't switch into that mode I have to do it a slightly different way so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to short out the solar panel oh well that seems to have switched it into that mode anyway that's because actually I went to open circuit and then short circuit uh, that was my trigger open circuit where it receives uh, VOC and short circuit where it gets ISC um, puts it into this mode Okay, so this is the sort of the early stages of a graphical mode. Now, I've got a magnifying glass here because it's the only way I'm going to be able to see this. <clears throat> you can see top left there's a little dot jumping around. And it's going to be difficult. But if I tilt the solar panel, so I'm going to tilt the solar panel over, that dot runs up and down the Y axis because as I tilt the panel, the voltage, uh, sorry, the current drops. Remember, we're short circuited here so the current drops but the voltage is always zero because there's a dead short across the panel so now what I'm going to do is remove that short so now we're actually in open circuit and you'll see that right over in the bottom right hand side uh, is another dot and if I tilt the panel now we're getting a drop in voltage of course at no stage is there any current now it doesn't drop completely because the rear of the panel is white so light is getting through even when it's tilted fully down so you only see part of the x-axis nevertheless that plots out the x and y axes like so now the next thing is to hook it up to the lamb so let's do that let's take the magnifying glass off for a minute so now we've got the array of bulbs um, hooked up and you can see that some of them are on down there now if I look at the display we've got some dots right up there which represents probably the maximum power point but what I want to do now is start undoing rows, columns of bulbs so I'm going to turn all these off I'll just leave these few on at the end, they're very low wattage, they're 40 milliamp bulbs. Okay, so now we've got, aha, well, it's traced that line out as I undid them. So I'm going to do them back up, and the figure in the bottom left is watts. So as I turn on columns of bulbs, the watts figure increases, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, and you can see that the graph is tracing out. I'll try and keep the watts figure in as well, it's very difficult this at the moment. Right, now as I come round the top of the curve, I've got pretty much all the bulbs on now. Okay, so that, and the wattage of course has dropped down, but not. Uh, but the reason the wattage is low there is because we're very low voltage. When I undo all the bulbs, we're down at this end of the graph and we get low wattage because we have low current. So by now releasing these bulbs, undoing the columns, 
I'm going to try and get back to maximum power. 6 watts, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's about maximum power. And I don't know whether you can see this. I can't see it at the moment. Oh yes, I can. Just up there, there's little jitters. So I don't think we're at the maximum power point. I think we need to get a bring some of these off a bit. So about 13, 14 watts. You can just see the dots jumping around there on the left of the screen so that we're sort of on the knee of the curve and that is the maximum power point. Now these bulbs have come on. That's probably why this is not behaving itself. Let's turn some of these on. Sorry this is a bit Heath Robinson but that's how it is. 14, 13, 14, 14 and a half. So that's about maximum power. Where's the jittery dot? Yeah, you can just see it jittering up and down there on the knee of the curve. So that's the IV curve, that's the profile of a solar panel in volts and amps, plotted out on the screen. Incidentally, those numbers in the middle are just X and Y coordinates for the plotting. So that's currently X is 66 out of 83, I think it is, and Y is 36 out of 47. Uh, but that's it, that's maximum power point, that's the IV curve, those are the X and Y axes. Bit crude at the moment, I hope to um, improve this plotting algorithm, um, but it's a work in progress.